Hello, I'm Marcus Boston, and I am a medical malpractice and childbirth injury attorney practicing law here in the state of Maryland. And I would like to quickly talk with you today a little bit more about mediation. I did a video a couple of days ago, and it was essentially talking about, in general, what is mediation going to be like? And I got a lot of questions about that video. And so I just want to kind of do a follow-up and to talk a little bit more about mediation in Maryland. Now remember, I'm going to give you just general information about mediation. And if you have an attorney already in your case, talk with your attorney specifically about the issues that you may have in your case. But for this video, I just want to talk about some things in general. Okay, well, when we're talking about a mediation, more than likely you're going to be in a room just like this. And you got to understand that each mediator may do things differently or in a different way. So I'm going to just give you some of the general things of how things may play out. But you may start off in a room like this and the mediator can be at the table and both sides will be present at the table. And at the start of things, the mediator may ask for the parties to start off together. The mediator may say to one side, okay, I would like you to give me a brief summary of the facts and some of the issues in the case. The mediator may li listen to all of that and tell the uh, next side to go ahead. It'll be their turn to give a brief uh, statement about the facts and some of the issues that are present. And once the mediator listens to all of that, the mediator may then send one party out. And the purpose of this is to be able to talk with that remaining party about specific issues that they are dealing with with the case. And the mediator is listening to everything. The mediator in general is probably going to have experience in the issues that are present. So the mediator will be able to listen and will be able to form opinions as to the strengths and weaknesses of the case. When this side is done, the mediator may then send that party out and bring the other party in and do the same thing. Listen to that side, listen to the strengths and the weaknesses of that party and their case. And then the mediator will put all of that together and try to help the, the sides come to an agreement in the case. Now, sometimes it will be where the mediator just cannot get the sides to come to an agreement. There just may be some issues that the sides cannot overcome. When this occurs, then the mediator will go ahead and then close the mediation and the case will continue to move forward on the trial track in whatever court that it is in. Remember, mediation can be strongly suggested, but the courts cannot force the parties to settle a case. Courts can't do that. The mediator can't do that. So if the parties cannot come to an agreement during the mediation itself, then the case, like I said, will go ahead and go back on the docket. It'll move straight on through, go straight to trial or wherever it is in the process. So why have I taken the time today to talk with you about this? Because I realize if you're watching this video right now, you may have questions about this process. You may be wondering, well, I'm getting ready to do a mediation. What is it going to be like? So that's what I'm trying to help you out with today. I'm trying to help you understand this process in Maryland and to get you to see that mediation can be helpful in some instances. But like I said, not all the time will your mediator be able to help you get the case settled. If you have more questions about what's going on with your situation, maybe you're watching this video right now because you have suffered an injury and you suffered this injury while under the care of a doctor or a hospital and now you have questions about what's going to happen to you. Maybe you're worried about will you be able to go to work, will you need long-term care and treatment, all of these things that may be coming up in your mind right now. If you're dealing with things like this, this is what I invite you to do. And remember, it costs you absolutely nothing to take this next action. And what is that action? To pick up the phone and give me a call. I can be reached at 301-850-4832. Or if you prefer, you can send me an email to medicalinjury at bostonlawllc.com. I answer Maryland medical malpractice and childbirth injury and wrongful death questions just like yours all the time and I'll be happy to take some time and listen to your story. All right, that's going to be it for today's quick educational video. Again, I'm Marcus Boston, and I'm one of the medical malpractice and childbirth injury attorneys here at Boston Law Group LLC, and we will see you next time. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day.